Hello everyone. Yes, um, today I bring you to another exercise on spanning tree. As you know that uh, spanning tree is the protocol that prevent a loop in your network. Okay, I will uh, implement on chicken S3 so that we can understand more about uh, how it works. Okay, so I will start genus 3 I will do a simple net network that uh, I will check in span tree protocol so please wait uh, my genus 3 is starting I'm using also genus 3 VM Yeah, my Genesis 3 VM is uh, starting now. Yeah, it's started. So I will name the project is Spanning Tree Test. Okay, Spanning Tree Test. And I will take uh, four switches. Let's say four switches. One, two, three, four. Okay. And these four switches, I will uh, connect it together. Okay. I will connect it together. So let's start. And one more. One slash two. Here, the one slash two, one slash one, two one slash one, and one slash two, two one slash two. Okay, let me organize it nicely. This is switch number two. This is uh, switch number three and switch number four. Okay, so we want to know which one is the root bridge. As you know that a uh, spanning tree will choose one switch as the root bridge switch. Okay, so we want to know which one is the root bridge. Okay, so first I need to start all devices. All switches will start up. And then I go to check. Okay, which one is the root bridge? By default, the manage switch is automatically running the spanning tree for VLAN 1. So let's connect all switches. One, two, three, four. Okay, four switches is starting. So I let's start with uh, switch number one. Okay, let's check switch number one. Okay. Show 
spanning tree vlan one brief as you see in this uh, switch is a uh, root bridge okay this bridge is the root okay so switch number one is the root bridge why we will find out why it is uh, switch number one is the root bridge we we will uh, take a look at bridge id okay this is the bridge id belong to switch number one okay this is the bridge id belong to number one switch number one and we will check on switch number two so first of all we need to find out why it is a uh, root bridge on switch number one so spanning tree vlan one brief okay this this uh, switch is not a root bridge i will take a look on bridge id okay so this is the bridge id belong to switch number two and switch number three okay so span in three vlan one brief vlan one brief As you see in this uh, switch number three has one port is blocked. Okay. We also come back it later why this uh, interface one slash one is blocked and one slash two is not blocked. We will come this later. Okay. First we need to find out why the switch number one is the root bridge. So I will take a look on um, bridge ID. Okay, right. Now we go to switch number four. So span in three. We land one brief. Take a look at the uh, bridge ID. Now, now we 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 got the bridge ID on four switches. So let's see. Root bridge will take the switch which is which is a uh, have the lowest uh, lowest bridge ID. Okay. So we will see this one C two o one C two o two C two o three C two o four. So it must be this one. The bridge ID of switch number one is the lowest bridge ID. So uh, the bridge ID is number one, switch number one. So switch number one is win. That's why uh, on the network, switch number one is the root bridge. So they say that a uh, root bridge switch all ports are designed designated port okay so these two port will be the designated port or forwarding port okay so this port must be available for other switches so that they could link to the root bridge okay so as you see in this we are using fast ethernet port the fast ethernet port all cost link is 19 okay all the cost link is 19 so this is 19 this also 19 this also 19 and this one also 19 so we want to know 
switch number two, switch number three, and switch number four, which port are the designated port or root port? Okay, so we can start from switch number four. The root port, it must be the lowest cost from its own switch to the root bridge. Okay, so switch number four, there are two ways to reach the root bridge. One is this way, the other one is this way. Okay, this way. So, you see, this switch number four, to reach the root bridge, it costs 19 if we go from F1 slash 2. So the cost is 19. But if the switch go here, it costs 19 times 3. It's a lot. So this port is win. So this port, we call it root port. Okay, we call it root port. Next, we want to see the switch number two. The same thing. Switch number two, there are two ways to, to reach the root bridge. One is this way, the other one is this way. Okay, so this one is must be win. Because the cost is only 19. Okay, if this one, the cost is 19 times 3. Okay, 19 times 3, so it's a lot. So this port is win. So we have left on this switch number three. Okay, switch number three. Actually, switch number three, we have 19. Sorry, why I have this 19 two? I delete one. Root port. Why I have 19 here also? Delete. Okay. So this is the root port. So on switch number three, which one is the root port? Which one is the designated port? Not root port, designated port. So as you see in these two switch, we have root root uh, port already. So this is must be designated port. This is must be designated port. Not not must be, maybe. It might be designated port. It might be designated port. As you already seen in the configuration, we have uh, switch number three. The blocking port is here. Okay, but why? Why this port is a uh, blocking port? As you seen the bridge ID of switch number two. Is the lowest? It's lower than the bridge ID of switch number four. Okay, that's why switch number three. They block on this port. They block on this port. Okay, because the costs are the same. This is nineteen times two. Through this way, also nineteen times two. If the cost is the same. We consider on the root bridge, sorry, on the, the, the bridge ID. We consider on the bridge ID. So this bridge ID is greater than this bridge ID. Okay. So on the other hand, we also consider the, the, the cause and the interface. Okay. This interface is lower interface. This interface is a greater interface. This interface is the root at the root bridge. Okay, this interface is the root bridge. To reach the packet from switch number three through this switch and through this to this switch, we reach uh, interface F one slash one. This way we reach interface f1 slash 2 okay so it's depending on the number of the switch number port of the switch this one is lower this one is greater that's why it choose to go this way so this port will be 
designated port. Okay, why I just copy this one? It's also um, oops. Hmm? Why why? Okay, this one is must be designated port, and this one also must be designated port. And this one it's also designated port. Okay. This one is the blocking port. Okay, this one is the blocking port. As you see in this uh, bridge ID, bridge ID, and bridge ID. Okay, it's depending on the bridge ID. As you seen in the uh, switch number three, you see in here. The costs are the same. It's nineteen, but the bridge ID on this port number is greater than this port number okay is greater than this port number that's why it's uh, uh they block on this port number okay they block on the port f1 slot one okay so this is how the uh, spanning tree protocol work okay and what about if we don't want to have a root bridge on switch number one we want to switch the root bridge to switch number two because switch number one is at the location that uh, can be risk okay can be risk is mean the electricity is not stable and some other location is not good so the switch number two is the the best location that we can have a root bridge okay so how to switch how to switch uh, to switch number two as a root bridge okay we have a command that we can switch r our root bridge manually uh, i have shown you just now is the automatically automatically uh, uh, selecting the root bridge by default okay so now we can manually switch our root bridge to the switch we want okay so let's start uh, to manual root bridge or to to switch number two okay to switch number two so i go to switch number two i say config terminal and then i type spanning tree vlan one root primary okay this is the command you want to uh, turn your root bridge from number one to switch number two okay enter so now the the root bridge is be uh, uh, come to switch number two let's see um so span three we land one brief okay this bridge is the root bridge okay this bridge is the root bridge we can change like uh, to switch number three to switch number four it's up to you okay and then it will be uh, blocking one of the port on other switch this time it's not switch number three anymore you can check so spanning three will learn one brief on switch number three there's no blocking port anymore because switch number three is close to root bridge okay close to root bridge so it must be blocked on switch number four okay because number four is uh, not closing to the uh, root bridge okay so this is how uh, spanning tree works and how you uh, manually switch the root bridge switch okay you can uh, 
uh, transfer the root bridge to other switch to the best location you want okay so I think uh, that's all for my basic configuration and basic of the spanning tree okay this is the only concept the uh, how spanning tree works and how to change manually uh, to the root bridge okay to the uh, how manually change root bridge to the switch you want if you have any comment any uh, questions you can ask me and then uh, you can comment on uh, below the video okay thank you for watching